Well, Harvey's impact still being keenly felt in the Port Aransas community where lots of folks still trying to get back on their feet again. And a group of urban planning experts has been on hand there all this week, looking the town over and conferring with city officials on ways to help revitalize that community to make it better and stronger. Our Jeremiah Marshall attended today's wrap up presentation and he joins us now with a look at what was suggested. With tourism being a major element fueling the Port Aransas economy, these experts concentrated on different ways to make the town even more tourist friendly. Take a time out right now, get that comprehensive plan underway, get everybody in this room agreeing on what, that, what the key priorities are. And then experts with Urban Land Institute brought up three major topics to keep Port A thriving, boating, housing and tourism. What they are is they, they are a town with permanent residents who have get flooded by tourists, but yet they need tourism to survive. Ideas to make Port A more tourist friendly include adding signage to let visitors know where they are and a bus or trolley system equipped with a mobile app so guests will know what routes to take. The experts also believe the city should add two conventional hotels, which would help visitors who have limited lodging options at the moment. Some city leaders had their concerns with the proposals, such as staffing and funding. What are the one, two, or three things that still brings the local community together, but we can have all the tourism going on around us? City leaders are expecting a final written report from the Urban Land Institute in the next six weeks or so. Jeremiah Marshall, Chris, 6 News.